What's up? It's your boy Hip Hop Gamer, my dude Lou Mac. Uh, yeah, uh, his party, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we shining with him right now, you know what I'm saying? So, first off, let's get it popping. How do you feel right now? Like, you got people coming out to support you, and this like a dream come true for you. So, honestly, from the bottom of your heart, you talking to your fans, how do you really feel right now about what's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I feel blessed, you know what I'm saying? Love that word. I feel <laughs> blessed, man. I can't, yo, listen. I've been doing this for 15 years, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Management finally found the cave for the brother. All right. said, let's go with the haters like you because it's relevant. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that's supporting me right now, man, I got love for all y'all, man. Because New York needs to get back in the back. Yes. That true support. Yes. And support each other, man. If we stick together, we can make it in New York. That's just how I look at it, man. So, now, it's funny that you said sticking together with New York because my man 50 Cent, shout out to 50, like he, he's been making like some big strides, like with bringing like New York back and working with some people and stuff like that with the back row situation, you know what I'm saying? Like he's been making strides and I love that, even with the locks and everything. How do you feel about New York rap, where it's going, and your part, and you know what I'm saying, your role in it, going, taking it forward as well? Yo, right now, this is how I look at it. I'm a, I still got a lot to learn in this industry, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I'm, I'm coming up under the older heads that I've seen. I've seen 50 make music. I've yeah. seen Deluxe. I'm, I'm a big Deluxe fan, you know, Styles. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big Styles P fan, man. You know, I'm gangster the gentleman. I take it way back to that real era when he was getting real hip hop for us, you know what I'm saying? But where I stand in this place, man, I'm just trying to give New York music from my soul personally, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to separate myself from the industry. But I'm still trying to do me without the industry's feedback and yeah. seeing where the music is going. I mean, you had South more in New York. Than New York. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And uh, I'm not feeling that right now. Yeah. But I blame the DJs as always. Wow, that's that's real talk. And you know, DJs, like man. talk to them. Let, let them know what it is. I blame the DJs. Now, man. now I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Like, when you're an artist and you're coming up and you get that shot, you get that break, so like that. You know, you, you don't get a second chance at a first impression. So, how has the impression been for you? Like, how has the you know, people been receptive to your music, your mental, and your whole movement? You know what I'm saying? Like, talk about that a little bit. I mean, I look at it right now, fan base wise, you know what I mean? Respect the music because I do music that you could, you know, I'm the type of dude I like to drive, smoke, spark a bogey. Alright? <laughs> No and, doubt. You know what I mean? And I'm a big girl. When I make, you know, when you ride to an old school DMX or old school music, it takes you to the zone. It takes you to the zone. Yo, I can be first. As soon as you said that, that's crazy. Because it's like, yo. if you drive and you listen to DMX or you listen to your song or whatever, already you like, hold up. You, you know, we're 90 right now. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah, and, so I feel that. I mean, I make music just to fit personalities and moves. You know what I mean? Nice, nice. And that's just who I am, man. And I, I mean, right now, people are people are grabbing to it. You see right now, I mean, yo, we got the man here, You already man. know. You already know. I came out to support. You got I'm, I'm going to tell you something now. And I tell a lot of artists this. Um, I recently had an interview with Freddie Gibbs. I spoke to him about it, and I asked him the same question. But every artist has a certain song that defines them. Like, if you never heard anything from me before, if you hear this, this is the really shit I ever said. This is who I am. Do you have a song like that right now? Or are you, like, still paving the way for your own self to come to that song when you write it? You're like, wow, I wrote that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to sound too confident, right? No, yo, no, 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 no. Listen. Confidence, I'm, baby. It's I'm all be, confident. I'm going to be 100% confident in myself right now. For the past two years, I've been recording straight. I have about 68 songs right now. You know what I'm saying? Out of those 68 songs, I have a lot of good songs yeah. that can reach people. Yeah. It's just the sense of listening to the music and, and grasping what I'm saying to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is like you. I felt I did it because, like I said, I was driving one day listening to all uh, uh, DMX. It was a ring. Oh, oh, you gotta get the belt. You, I, you gotta hold the belt on that one. Yeah. That's a powerful moment in everybody's life. No doubt. No. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was listening to this man. Yeah. 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 Listen, I was on the haters like I, I was driving, I heard that shit, and I'm just sitting here and I'm smoking the boat in the rainy weather, the AC on, so you better get that cold yeah, breeze. Yeah, yeah. You get that cold breeze. But I'm, I'm chilling, and I'm thinking, I'm riding it. Yo, you, you see a couple of motherfuckers looking through the window, right? I'm like, damn, is they hating on me or are they just happy to see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, the, the way I was already in with that DMX slipper, man, yeah. it 
made me feel that I should do a song about haters like you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and That's interesting, haters like you. Yeah, yeah, I love the inspiration behind it as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of haters out there that, you know, they smile with you in your face and say fuck you behind your back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that always is. In this industry, it's a lot of fake friends and just do for business. Yeah, it's the gift and the curse that come yeah. to the territory. I you got what you. I'm saying? So, the haters like you is one of my realest songs right now. That's why I choose to go with haters like you. Well, you see my shirt, right? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's all it is. You know what I'm right. saying? Now, a uh, uh, few more questions. I'm going to let you hold this shit. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Let's get it. Hey, let's get it. I'm a small guy. I got to get my weight up. I still got to get my weight up. So, like, I got a few more questions for you. Now, everybody has rings and goals you know, within this music shit. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. But um, sometimes things don't always go the way a person plays. Because God got the true plan for everybody. So that gets. Right. At, the, at the end of the day, you know, what helps you go to sleep at night when it comes to this music shit? Regardless of fame, regardless of money, regardless of the girls, regardless of anything. At the end of the day, like, what's something you can say that's really true and deepest for? You know what I'm saying? I go for the love of music, man. Mm. At the same time, I have principles that's guiding me to where I'm at now. I believe strongly in principles, loyalty, and respect. You know what I'm saying? If you're grounded as an artist and you're grounded as a man, remind you I'm a man first, I'm an artist second. Remember that, y'all. Remember that, y'all. We all got souls, don't suffer. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm a man first, I'm an artist second. And that's what makes me go to sleep at night, man. Just knowing I'm doing me as a man first. Because I still have a son. I gotta bring these homies. God bless at the same time, you feel me? So, I do music for myself, but at the same time, I still gotta do it to let him understand the man first. Now, I know you're gonna hit the stage. Can you tell the like, fans and the audience, what's your stage presence like? You know, what's your persona? Because we be we talking right now and everything, but when you hit that stage, it's like a whole nother, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a whole nother feel. What's yeah. your stage performance? Like? I'm gonna say shout out to Team Light Skin first of all. Alright, alright, alright. Because Team Light Skin, I'm gonna just let me stop talking shit, but uh, <laughs> But nah, uh, what I'm gonna say is, yo, I'm very laid back, you know what I'm saying? I try to grab the attention as far as people feel feeling, how I'm feeling with my music. Like I said, I'm a mood type of person. So for this song, I'm more gonna be mellow because I want people to really feel what I'm saying first. I want you to understand this song is a haters like you, make you got at Let people understand that, you know, when you're walking down the street and you see a hater, you know, you just smooth as you're walking. You're telling them, you look at them in the eyes and you try to grab your attention. Yeah, yeah. I want you to feel like you're not a hater, but I want you to tell your haters, yo, you're a hater too. No doubt. Now listen, before we wrap this up, I am hip hop gamer. So I gotta hit you up with some gaming real quick. Do you fuck with anything, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo? Do you play any games, any games with your son or whatever, or what you grew up playing? Like, they, what, what's some of your favorite games you can kind of like revert to and let people know about? Sega Genesis. Super Nintendo. I, I, I. Dreamcast. Alright, wait, wait, wait. You said Dreamcast. I said Dreamcast. And Nintendo 64. You don't say we had to take a pause on that. And Nintendo 64, one of my favorite joints is Golden Eye and all the rest of the games. So much is all in the Alright, cool, cool. Alright, any games, alright, cool. At least you know this shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to test you on that because that's what, that's what I'm about. I'm about them games and I'm about that music. Sonic and Knuckles, man. Oh, black cartridge? Yeah, just you had to blow in that shit. Yo, yo, yo. Son! shit started, you had to play with the cartridge and press that on button. See, I'ma need to game attack and something like that when you're being sent out. Stop playing games, man. Like, you know, my son came to my house and he just said, Dad, you took all the way to the Oh, wow. Took the way to Oh, that was the hustle. He the hustle. Yo, look, I just want to say thank you so much, man. Yo, it's all good, son. I know you, my brother. Please, look, coming out is important. Don't even worry about it, son. This ain't gonna be the last time you see me. We got things to do, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Listen, my man Lou Mac, he coming at you yeah. live. It's your boy Hip Hop Game on Hot 97. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Yo, D. Francis Style. You want style me, man. You want a dope ass style. I'm telling y'all. D. Francis? I, yo, I can hear Fort. The joint looked dope too, man, like, because I was like, I don't see nobody wearing shit like this too. What's style? It's really dope. Bro. Boy, stop me. He does his own thing. He's like, so what's the website, Twitter? Like, like, throw all that out there. Yo, LumacD1.com, Twitter, LumacD1, Instagram, LumacD1. Your girlfriend name, probably LumacD1. Check me out, man. <laughs> you already know what it is. Only a hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. Gangsta, we out, baby. Yes. Yeah.